This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm a lucky dog entertainer, baby. There's the leprechaun. The one, the only ape father relaxing on the recliner. Wow! You know, I've been getting a lot of, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say ball breaking, uh, hate messages, whatever. You're a sellout ape father. You know, I'm disappointed in you. You used to give me so much motivation with AMC. You know, now you're you're just making me get down in the dumps. And I just, you don't believe in AMC no more. And now I'm getting freaked out. Or, you know, why are you doing this to me? Why? It's like that song by the Pet, the pet Shop Boys. What have I? What have I? What have I done to deserve this? What have I? What have I? What have I done to deserve this? Since a father went away, I've been hanging around. I've been upside down. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to me. AMC and GameStop have a lot in common. All right. And I don't understand why you just can't see it. You know, you just can't see. I'm talking about not everybody, because there are certainly a lot of uh, people who do understand it. They actually own both AMC and GameStop. Those are very smart apes, okay? Because they understand the two of them work together. They understand that they're going to help each other MOAS, okay? But these apes who only want to stick to AMC don't realize that they're hurting themselves, okay? Now, look, let me prove it to you, okay? In May, remember, of 2021, when AMC shot up to 72, Okay, you're forgetting something. Um, you're also forgetting that GameStop shot up too. Okay, to 176.79. Now, what I find very, very interesting is this. Let me tell you what I find very interesting. It's like GameStop is not too far away from that price point. You, we would just like, just like recently, it went up to like 199 GameStop. And AMC was at 34. Now, if what are you seeing in, com in common, right? There's always the whole thing. You understand? They're stopping it. It's the whole thing. Okay? And then they bring it down. Okay? But this is what you're not understanding. And let me try to explain it to you. They can hold. They can do anything they want to do. But you know what they can't do? They cannot stop a catalyst. They cannot stop momentum. And when I, who I'm talking about, when I say they, I'm talking about Ken Griffin. I'm talking about all the short sellers. I'm talking about the New York Stock Exchange with their holding and everything. I'm talking about the SEC. I'm talking about everything. Okay. So now you're just not seeing, don't you see how they work together, AMC and GameStop? But here's the thing that you're not putting the pieces of the puzzle together. See, GameStop fundamentally, is better than AMC. But here's what I will say about AMC. I think there are more synthetics, much, much more, being used in AMC than in GameStop. So I don't understand why this is so complicated for all of you to understand that you're sending me hate messages. You're, you're I'm, a, I'm a traitor. I'm Benedict Arnold. I'm Judas. I'm all these things you're calling me. You know, I'm a sellout, you know, piece of garbage. Okay. You don't understand. GameStop fundamentally is better than AMC. Okay. So why not capitalize on that? AMC's fundamentals suck. That's the bottom line. I'm sorry to break it to you. It's not going well. Okay. So why not? Isn't it logic? Listen to me. If AMC investors, the AMC apes, buy GameStop, the first step is you're taking a piggyback ride on their fundamental value. Don't you understand? So in other words, because now, listen to me, hear me out, you own both AMC and GameStop. Fundamentally, you're going to bring, you're going to take that piggyback ride with GameStop. So now, let's, like I said to you before, let's say I feel fundamentally, not not counting on MOAS, GameStop can easily get to $500, $700, even $1,000 a share. And that will, in, in turn, bring AMC up. 
So the sooner GameStop goes up, the sooner AMC goes up. Because if you look at history, that's what happened. Look back in May of 2021. They both shot up. I think I just don't understand why you're not seeing this for. Okay? So in theory, in theory, if GameStop goes up to say seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a share, AMC will also follow GameStop and go to a hundred or over a hundred a share. So now, here's what's going to happen. All of those synthetics, those fake shares that are being used by Ken Griffin and Citadel are going to have to be covered with AMC. And then we could have the Moaz. I, I, it's like you're calling me all of these horrible names. I'm looking out for your best interest. I want AMC to squeeze, okay? Just like I want GameStop to squeeze, okay? But you have to first... Okay, so here's an example. Let's say this happens. Are you ready? Hear me out. Let's say that GameStop goes to, say, a 1000 a share, but only a limited amount of apes in terms of AMC own GameStop. That's why I'm giving it what's called a 10% ratio. I don't feel if, if there's only a limited amount of AMC apes that own GameStop, I don't see games. I see, I still see AMC taking a piggyback ride on GameStop success, but I don't see it being a big piggyback ride. That's the thing. I only see it at 10%. So that might mean if GameStop goes to 500, AMC will only go to 50. Now, we're not going to squeeze at those prices. D don't you understand that? Don't you, kabish? Don't you understand? We're not going to squeeze at $50. So what I'm trying to make you understand is this. If you help GameStop go higher, it's going to help AMC go even higher. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. So if more and more AMC apes... Even if they just pick up, like, what do we have in AMC? Something like 7 million investors, right? 7 million retail investors, probably more. It's probably 10 million. If every one of them would buy some GameStop, I'm telling you it's going to be a domino effect, okay? GameStop will shoot up. It'll, it'll have that squeeze first, but then AMC could follow with a piggyback ride. But if, if enough AMC apes buy GameStop, it could be huge, not 10%. It could be 20%, 30%. So, so meaning, let's just say, I'll give you a, for instance, a large amount of AMC apes bought GameStop. Instead of it being 10%, now it might be 30%. So I'll give you an example. If GameStop goes to 1000 a share, AMC could go to $300 a share. Now, there's no question at that point that the shorts are finished. Okay, there's going to be a forced margin call. It's going to be unbelievable for both GameStop and AMC. So I just don't understand why you can't see that or why you're calling me all these horrible names. When I am telling you, this could start two Moazes, not one, but two. And I, there are a lot of smart apes that understand this. But unfortunately, there's a very hard-headed, a lot of hard-headed, stubborn apes that just don't understand I don't think AMC can see. I don't think AMC can do it by itself. You want me to just level with you? It needs GameStop. It needs that momentum. There's not enough momentum in AMC. That's it. There's not enough excitement in AMC. The management's terrible. Adam A. Aaron is the ho most horrible CEO that has ever existed in history. All the insiders of AMC are selling. So what I'm trying to make you understand. You're putting your faith right now with AMC. You don't realize it. You're putting your faith in fundamental value. It doesn't have fundamental value. You're putting your faith in the government. The government doesn't give a shit about the retail investor. You're putting your faith in Adam, you know, Aaron doing his job. He's not doing his job. He's not doing a share recount. He's not bringing a catalyst to the table. He's doing nothing. The guy's worried about popcorn, gold, He's nuts and his retirement. So what I'm trying to make you understand is join forces with your retail brothers and sisters. Let's look. It 
There's no question whether you do this or not, in my opinion, GameStop is going to squeeze. The question is, do you want AMC to squeeze too? So go with the company that has the best fundamental value, which is GameStop. Hold your AMC. Don't sell your AMC. Hold it for gold. But not only hold AMC, buy GameStop. Help GameStop shoot up, and then in return, GameStop will take AMC with it. Very simple logic. I am not a trader. I love AMC. I love it. I have my life savings in it. I have 3,400 shares. Okay, I, so, so just stop it with this nonsense. It's logic. It makes logical sense. GameStop has the more, cha- the higher chance, in my opinion, because of its fundamental value, okay, to shoot up faster. So get a piece of the action. Get on the winning team. And then what happens is that the winning team is going to take you with them to the promised land. Then there's going to be a forced margin call. Then we win. I am not a financial advisor. I am not giving financial advice. I'm an entertainer. But try to see the common sense and try to see the logic. This is something we could do on our own where we're not depending on, you know, Adam or Aaron. We're not depending on Gary Gensler. We're not depending on the Department of Justice. We could do this on our own, and we could create two Boazes. Kabish!